everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Abridged. Last time, we explored some entirely new content to this version of the game, specifically routes 47 and 48, as well as the new Johto Safari Zone. And this time, after an episode-long detour, which is much more than I could say about the original LP, it's time to take on the Olivine City Gym. So, like I said many times previously, a lot of the gyms in Heart Gold and Soul Silver have like some new elements to them. They're they're different in some ways. And uh, you could say that about this one. But just barely. Yeah, this guy may look like a gym trainer. He's not. He's not at all. Same with this girl. They 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 don't actually serve a purpose other than to like cheer you on. They don't actually fight you in any way or prepare you at all for what you're about to face. But uh but yeah. She's got Jasmine has new dialogue. That's that's different given that steel is no longer a uh, a newly discovered type or anything like that. But yeah, the, that <laughs> that that new that that new batch of text just sounds really awkward and out of place coming from her. So I I really don't I didn't heal. Oh. Well, that's great. That's that's fantabulous. And here comes the Steelix, and here comes the Steelix. Uh, let's hope it doesn't have a ground-type move. It's probably going to have a ground-type move, but I'm also probably going to outspeed it because it's a Steelix. Yeah, like that. So, uh... Can we, can we have a good... Oh! And yeah, here's the berry. Uh, I will take that to mean that it does not, in fact, have a ground-type move. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't have, like, magnitude or something. But, whatever. Oof. And yeah, the rest of this is... The, the rest of this is a cakewalk, honestly. Oh no, not a Magnemite. Whatever will I do, I'll punch it. Yay. I think that's the easiest gym fight I've had so far. I... It's been a while since I recorded any of them, but I'm pretty sure uh, I had more trouble with all of the rest of them, except for maybe Morty. Also, here's the Iron Tail TM. That hasn't changed. Oh. At least that stayed the same. And now it is time that we head to the east. And then completely interrupt this uh, amazing music for uh, something semi-interesting. Mount Mortar no longer requires Flash. This is true in Crystal as well, but uh, yeah, I'm, th I'm very happy about this. Unfortunately, uh, Mount Mortar also doesn't really have much of a purpose right now, because Machop and Meryl were uh, both made available in the 
either the Safari Zone or the lead up to it, so we don't really need to be here for any reason right now. So I'm just gonna... Excuse me! Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't believe I've ever gone through this cave in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I did not know there were trainers here. So, uh, yeah, you learn something new every day, I guess. Please don't poison point me, you didn't. Okay, good. Because I'm pretty sure that would have, uh, that animation would have kicked in before it, uh, before it fainted. Uh, let's go Jerome. Let's get some Psybeam action going on. Psybeam! Fancy. I mean, like, it's level 17. Like, you you can't really expect much to... Oh, cool. Actually, like, foreshadowing the fact that the Karate King is here. But yeah, you can't really expect much from this portion of the game. But, like, I would have expected a Nido Queen and a Nido King to put up slightly more fights. But, I don't really know. Uh, I guess I'll go through what I can f of this cave, then. And, uh, I'll cut to anything that I find interesting. Mod Shop does not qualify as being interesting, I'm afraid. Well, there's another trainer up there. I guess that qualifies as notable. Yes, hello, Mr. Trainer. How, uh, how, how can I help you? Hey, Hugh? I, uh, I hate- I regret to inform you, that is not my name. That is, in fact, the rival from Black and White 2. You're, uh, you're a couple games ahead right there. Clearly! Yeah. Thanks. Interesting, so I guess I'll find him later on, when I actually get to the waterfall requiring portion of this. Okay. The hell? That was really strange. The surf music continued playing while I was grabbing that item. Never seen that happen before. And th there it was again! Yeah, there wasn't really much of anything in there. Just a bunch of items that I don't care about. Anyway, there's Suicune. I guess we can interact with it, I suppose. Or it could just jump off again, I suppose that's possible. What's up, you seen? Refreshing? Is it really? I guess it is different from the norm of this area. Okay. Maybe it's just after its own freedom. Have you ever thought about that? Registering Fisher Tully here will make him occasionally call you and tell you that he has found a water stone for you. You're gonna want this. Trust me. Mahogany Town is mostly the same, aside from the fact that this tree here outside the souvenir shop is, uh, very clearly not a tree. Also, that's amazing capitalization right there. And, uh, the fact that the Rage Candy Bar that this guy sells... ...is now a key item? Y 
yeah, this is, uh, this is rather weird, but, uh, we'll, we'll be getting back to that at a later point. Also, you can only buy one. Yeah, this guy's just kind of a jackass who doesn't let you, uh, doesn't let you pass even though you've bought a frickin' chocolate bar from him. I don't... I, I don't get what your what his deal is, but anyways, I don't think there's anything in this house. Yeah, let's talk about Red Gyarados. And you are boring. Congratulations on being boring. Well, let's head to Lake of Rage, I guess. Lake of Rage, much like Route 33, has uh, perpetual rain on it. There's nothing really special about that, I just felt like pointing it out. Anyways, uh, here's Wonderwall. I'm definitely gonna name this Red Gyarados Wonderwall now that I'm... <laughs> now that I've thrown that out there into the world. Uh, okay, hello, hello. Gyasha, yep. Uh... If... I recall correctly, I believe the Red Gyarados does have a, uh, a 1 in 8,192 chance to be a regular blue Gyarados. I may be wrong there, but, uh, that, that sounds right to me. Oh god! It has a 100% chance to have Dragon Rage. That's really unfortunate. Not that I can't survive a Dragon Rage, of course, but uh, that still does more damage to me than probably any of his other attacks would. Thank you, jeez. That only took, like, a month. Yeah, it's Gyarados. Excellent. I am pro- oh yeah, red scale, forgot about that. I'm probably not going to be using this as my Gyarados in the living decks. I'm probably going to be just putting it into a, uh, a separate PC box by itself. Because I can, mostly. Ooh! That is a good item. The choice specs are a, uh... A strange item. They, uh... Obviously, anyone who's played competitive Pokemon knows knows what these are, but, uh, they will... Uh, they lock you into whatever, uh, move you choose to use first. But, they... They raise the holder's special attack by... I want to say 50%? It's... It's something... Something large like that. Anyways, I'm just gonna explore the the lake a little bit before talking to uh, Vegeta over there. And I guess I'll catch this Gyarados, because it's there. Well, here's a red flute. Uh, this will snap any of your Pokémon out of uh, infatuation. So, it's situational at best, but it's handy to have. Up here is a TM for secret power, which is uh, just a 70 power normal type move that will have uh, a random secondary effect based on your location, or like the the type of area you're in. Like it can, it has, it can either have a chance to paralyze, confuse, or a bunch of other things that I don't remember. And here's a TM for hidden power. You know what that does. Alright, I'm done exploring. What's up, Lance? I suppose I can do that. Uh, 
Okay, just fly through me. That's cool. Nice to know some things never change. Hyperbeam is still just animated as being a tackle. Did Lance just throw him? What happened there? Bye, Dragonite. I'll miss you. So yeah, this, uh... This first floor is exactly the same, so I feel no need to show any of it. Aside from the new animation for the Persian statues, I guess. And once you take out a Persian statue... The eyes stop glowing, so that's one way to tell which ones you've... <laughs> Didn't actually know there was text associated with that. It's uh, an easy way to say, see which ones you've already taken care of. Also, that grunt's just kind of standing there, so... Yeah, he's, he's... <laughs> he's just waiting for his friends to come and take care of me. And they're not doing a very good job, it seems. In this version of the game, it is possible to traverse across this entire trap floor without encountering a single wild Pokémon. I just need to... be careful and, uh... try and remember the proper, uh... the proper way to do things. There we go. Did it. I still have to go back on here and catch a Voltorb, but, uh, that's how you do things here in the rocket land. I'm gonna stop talking now. How are you still surprised by this? This is the fifth Persian statue you've come across. Geraldine wants to learn Sweet Scent. Why? Wow, considering I've said that I'm not going to be showing anything on this floor, I sure have shown a lot of things on or relating to this floor. Geraldine is evolving! I thought she was about to try and learn Sweet Scent again, and I was like, did you not learn your lesson the first time? But no, Petal Dance is actually a really good move that I do want to learn. Sorry, Razor Leaf, your time has ended. Hello, Lancy Boy! I didn't forget about the free heal this time, and actually used it effectively. Ah! Forgot you were right there, though. Ah, yes. A password. Did you, though? And then you just casually mention this to the first ten-year-old that walks past you. I swear to god, Rocket Grunts today... ...are probably slightly more competent than they were in the past, what with them dropping lift keys willy-nilly. Jerome wants to learn Double Hit. That is exactly what it sounds like. I don't want to learn it. Stomp is slightly weaker, I think, but it's also more accurate. So, yeah, no thanks. The grunts that give you the passwords are the exact same ones as, the, as in the original game, and now you don't have to talk to them afterwards to get the passwords. They just give them straight to you in the Oh my god, I've been defeated, whatever shall I do post battle quote. Money. Less money. Yuck, yuck, yuck. 
Well, here's a TM that I forgot about. Snatch... exists. I'ma be honest, I don't actually know what Snatch does offhand. I think it, like, if your opponent is about to use a stat-up move, you steal it? I think? And here's our usual Thief TM. Oh, right. Forgot about you. What's up, Sliver? Uh, yeah. That's definitely the reason I'm here. Oh, no, no, nothing... N no one important, just the champion of the Pokémon League. NBD. Never change, Silver. I mean, I know you're going to, but never change. Never stop kicking me. The hell are you... Lies! Giovanni doesn't wear a hat! How do... How does Ethan know what Giovanni sounds like? Are there recordings of him on the internet? Does the internet exist in Pokémon World? Yeah, you've done such a great job. Well done... Temporarily dyeing your hair to match him, though. Unless there's just a wig built into that hat, which I guess makes more sense, so shush. Executive Petrol is just as pathetic as he was before. And spoilers, he will continue to be exactly that amount of pathetic. Yeah, yeah, coughing. Just bring it, bring it on. Have a soif. And another coughing? No, Raticate. I feel like another coughing would have been a... Would have been a decent guess. It is Team Rocket, after all. They only have, like, three things. Three families, that is. Oh no, not my sped. That's... that's quite the line. Wow! Strong! Giovanni, please forgive me for impersonating you. <laughs> Still crashes into the wall for no good reason. That is one impressive Murkrow. I don't know why we <laughs> why we need to see it running down the hall also, but dang. Murkrow! Murkrow! Item that I missed. Murkrow! 
Murkrow screamed the password. Voice... Text box prior to that has a period rather than an exclamation point. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, oh my god. Like, honestly, they, they really shouldn't have put Petrol in charge of that, uh, that password system. It's so unfair. I mean, it's not like I wouldn't have been able to take you both on with one Pokémon anyway. But still, you, you guys are the ones who are being unfair about this. Even though one of you has a level 18 Drowsy. But yeah, interesting twist on this, uh, this fight. It's a double battle now. As it should be, honestly. Or, a, a multi-battle, I think is what it's called, when there's, uh... When it's two trainers against two trainers. I was... I, I knew it! I knew he was gonna hit the Drowsy with one HP rather than the Arbok. Screw you, Dragonite! You get a small amount of water on you. That's your punishment for going for the weaker mon. Urkrow! Alright, can we take out the Murkrow in one hit, please? Probably? No. And now he's he's gonna probably send the Dragonite at it. Yep. Lance, how did you ever get to be the champion? Making moves like that. The Drowsy was one thing, but save the Murkrow for the electric type in the room, please. How did I still take out the Grimer? Gloom, gloom. Well, apparently this is why we keep takedown. Schmack. <laughs> Except it did nothing. That's cool. That's great. That's fine. Let's try surf for no reason. Not that it's going to matter, because Fly is super effective, and is and also it's a Dragonite. Screw being an executive, I'm going to become your new boss. You go, Dragonite, go investigate that machine. And somehow communicate to your trainer what is what's going on. Uh well clearly you're not doing anything about it. Well, it's uh Time to try and catch one of these guys. Of course, after you take out Geraldine, that's immediately after I catch you. Lance, I'm done! Did your Dragonite just hyperbeam them all in a line? HMO5! Yeah, Whirlpool is still Whirlpool. It's still bad move. Huzzah. Uh, I'm 
pretty sure that this is actually the only time where an HM has changed moves in, like, in the middle of a generation, because in Diamond and Pearl, HM5 was Defog, which was also a bad move. But, uh... Yeah, since Fog is not a thing in, uh... In Johto, they just decided to do away with that and add Whirlpool back in. But anyways, uh, yeah, Team Rocket is taken care of. I'm sure nothing more will come of that. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Abridged, we're gonna go and check out the Poke Athlon. <laughs> Zoom. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.